Katja from The Bully Den and I'm going to show you some ways that you can keep your English Bulldog healthy. Now we all know that Bulldogs, they're more prone to some things, health issues than other breeds. The way to really help keep that from happening to you is by giving them their vitamins and high quality food. So we start off with high quality food. I like from family foods. This one here that they're eating today is pork and peas. It is grain free. And what I really like about from is that it's not only a family company, um, they give you some incentives. So if you cut out the UPC codes, you can send in, like after 12 you get a free bag. So that's always nice, right? Save a little money by sending in the UPC codes. Um, I also like that they use human grade food, right? So a lot of companies, they'll use the leftovers from whatever is being processed. From uses what you would get out of the grocery store, what you would buy for your family. That's the ingredients that they use. So that's one thing that I like about them. I also find it really easy or easier to deal with if I dump the bag into a tote, because then you don't have like the floppy bag, which is really annoying, and then they're not just eating out of it when you're not looking to, because it locks. So everybody has their food in their bowls. The vitamins now is where people can kind of get a little confused. So I'll show you what we do. Um, of course, you want to talk to your vet and see what the vet recommends, but these are this is a good place to start. All of them get vitamin C for their immunity, of course. They just get one of each. I found these on Amazon. You can get them, um, the emergency chewables are also really good. So I just get them in the capsules just because it's more convenient and I can do it faster. I just empty one on each dog, full, full one. Just like humans, that's where I start. The other really important one that I suggest is something for their joints, right? Because they joints can break down over time and a lot of dogs can actually have more joint issues. So by giving them things specifically for their joints is always super awesome. Right now we're giving the I-26 Companion and the Flex. These again come in little capsules, open them up, pop them in, makes it pretty easy. These ones come in like a treat form, so you can just give it to them as a treat. Um, I just pop theirs into their food bowl, a little extra surprise in there. Some optional things that I do, I also add in brewer's yeast. It's really good to help with fleas, um, to help deter that, especially like if your English Bulldog is pregnant. Well, if they can't have the intake medication, brewer's yeast is a really good option. And Nani is going a little bit. I just pop one into theirs. You can also make them into treats by buying the powder and adding coconut oil to it, popping them in the fridge, and keeping them cool that way. And they really like the coconut oil, so that's another easy way. Also, vitamin E. Vitamin E is so good for like so many different things. Um, this one here I have found because vitamin E, there's two different kinds. There's a synthetic and then there's an all natural. The all natural one is the one that you want because that's what's really going to absorb into their body, right? So this is the one that I found. It's a lot easier because it's also in a capsule, so I just pop it open, drizzle it in, and there you go. This one has D-alpha. So there's two different kinds. The DL alpha is the one that's synthetic and their bodies don't absorb it very well. But just the D alpha, which is a little bit harder to find, but this company, I will we'll have a link to it, but and I'll put it on the website, but it's really awesome. And it has all the things that you need to have in it. It's good for their coat, it's good to build their immunity. So we really wanna just make sure that they're covered from all different angles. So it's super easy. And if you only have a couple of one or two full dogs, this really doesn't take you that long. So it's definitely a good thing to do. Take a few extra minutes and make sure your bulldog's taken care of. I also add in a probiotic. From foods that actually have probiotics in it, I have found that they do a little bit better if I just give them a little bit extra. This one is only one million organisms. But it helps, right? Like you can't have too much probiotics. I also add in apple cider vinegar. Brax is my favorite, but you can get whatever you want. Just 
make sure that it's organic. And if you can get it with the mother, which is like the cloudy stuff at the bottom, that's where all the good stuff is. So that's something to keep in mind. You can add it to their water. I just do a little dash. So I've just been putting it into their food. Last but not least, cod liver oil. This, I mean, this is just, this is just like amazing stuff. Right? It stinks, but it's so good. And it's really hard to pour it from the jug. So my little trick is to put it in a little squirt bottle. And I like to drizzle it on the top, kind of like a little extra sauce. That's just what I do. They only need like a little bit. So a gallon, it runs between $16 and $7 on Amazon. But as you saw, like that's just a little tiny bit. It lasts for forever. It goes a really long way. But it, like I said, it does stink, so if you get it on your hands, definitely don't touch other stuff until you wash your hands. So I'm gonna go back through, and I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the vitamins on that I didn't while I was talking to you guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get our bullies fed. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.